Well, they're speaking of emotion, a different kind of emotion. We know there's no rest for the weary as the Wild had to celebrate quickly after their thrilling overtime win in Game 7 in Colorado, of course, against the Avs. Shortly after the win, they boarded the plane for Chicago ahead of tonight's game, uh, of course, Game 1 against the Blackhawks. Fox 9 Sports Director Jimmy Rich is in Chicago, and he joins us live with a preview of tonight's game. So i got to ask, did you switch out that Blackhawks jersey yet? <laughs> Pretty bold. <laughs> no, I didn't cut it off. They're a fool dog, as they call them. They look like lions to me, but they call them dogs here in the U.S. I don't understand. Well, look where we are now, guys. We're at Wrigley, We're Wrigley oh, Field. It's the 100th anniversary, 1914 to 2014. And for sure, we thought we could find some Blackhawk fans here among the Cubs fans. And joining us here, Joe McCarthy, right? See, yeah, absolutely. Joe McCarthy, born, raised on the northwest side of Chicago. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this big series. Uh, a year ago, Wild came in here. You guys kicked us right out of town. You're not going to do that again, are you? Well, you know what? The Wild is going to be a little more competitive this year. Uh, the Blackhawks, again, I, I believe they're the fastest team in the NHL. When they want to put two and two together, they'll get four goals real, real quick. But I'm still expecting a competitive series. I'm expecting it to go seven games. Blackhawks had a little rough start with the St. Louis Blues, but they came back four straight. You look at the Hawks, so aren't they going to be fat and happy? They won the cup last year. You know, they're like, ah, we don't need to worry about this. They could overlook the Wild. Well, you know, when the plate is full, you want to keep filling it. So <laughs> it sounds good having a third world championship, uh, or I should say a uh, Stanley Cup under your, your belt within five years. That would be uh, pretty impressive, to say the least. Now, uh, does Chicagoans, what do they think of Minnesotans? I mean, are we good guys or, you know, Vikings, Bears, Twins, Cubs, Twins, White Sox? Minnesota is getting to become a great sports uh, area um, because they're getting more competitive teams. You know, I always like, believe it or not, I follow the National League. I'm a Cub fan, born and raised Cub fan, northwest side of Chicago. But you always look at some of the scores, what the other teams are doing. Uh, Minnesota Twins got some exciting players. You know, Joe Maurer for several years. You know, I know he's been hurt on and off. But even throughout the years, I remember going to old Comiskey Park and seeing Harmon Killebrew, Tony Oliva, all these great players, even some former Cubs that eventually right. became Minnesota Twins. All right, how about Blackhawks, North Stars? That was a rivalry. Minnesota. Can this wild rivalry get to that? You know what? Uh, only if we bring Bobby Hall and Stan McKee out of retirement <laughs> and bring back some of those great uh, hockey players from back then. The Minnesota North Stars, they had some good teams back then. But again, the Hawks had good teams, but you couldn't beat the Montreal Canadiens back then. No. Nope. They were the team to beat. The Absolutely. Richards and, uh, you know, all of those great, the Mahovlich brothers, I remember them years ago. Boston Bruins had a lot of great teams back yep. then, too, with Esposito and Busick and Cashman. All right, we're going to be talking a lot of sports here, but how about that? 03. What happened here in 03? You know what? That's something for Cub fans to really live down. I was at game six that night. The wind was blowing in that night. Mark Pryor was on the mound starting. And I noticed there was problems in the game leading up to the poor, that poor Bartman, that poor kid. But, you know, I wish Dusty would have played the managerial role a little bit better. Uh, the whole Bartman thing got blown out of proportion. I still blame Malou for not for saying something. You shouldn't have said nothing. Go back to your position in left field. But the whole chemistry of the team got thrown out of place when he started yelling at Bartman up there. Yeah. And I still think the ball was slightly over his head. But after that, Alex Gonzalez blew a sure double play, and all hell broke loose. I have to tell you that. Yes, it did. Well, it's a good thing you guys don't remember those things much. You know, it doesn't stick in your craw much. You don't. Re you don't forget it. It's impossible to forget your five outs away from going to the first World Series in Chicago since 1945 and it's still hard to get on you know hard to get over it then uh, right, but you do have a Stanley Cup so yes we do we got a couple of them the last four years which helps it but we still want a World Series for the Cubs in Chicago all right well that's kind of what the mood is like here outside of Wrigley and uh, we'll be back with more Joe thank you very much for your time <laughs> we very appreciate it very hospitable all the wonderful people in Minnesota all right. so come on nice out to the guy. ballpark at Wrigley you'll love it <laughs> right. they love you guys too they love you they, they're do. saying you're doing a great job you found a good guy to interview we're, we're, believe it or not we love Minnesota here in Chicago so we really <laughs> Really they got good people out there, great teams. I've been out to Minnesota several times. Wonderful people in the state. And I'll tell you, come on out to Chicago. You're going to love it. Jim is completely lost control. Yes, he is. We'll right. see you guys. All right, Jim.